can't see if it's recording yet. Uh, oh, come on, stop, stop hiding out. Okay. Uh, hello, anyone who may be watching now or later, and welcome. To... <laughs> I get, I again, I forgot to do the new intro. So actually, let me let me redo that a bit. Uh, ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'm your captain, Hillian, along with. First mate, Drakeel Scalebeard. Okay, that sounds uh, that sounds better. I would personally say, <laughs> at least. And welcome back to uh, uh, the intro in total. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah. Welcome back to Minecraft, where we're on Coravel's uh, survival multiplayer server again. And yeah, let's see. Uh, has the guy? That... Okay, they haven't been on to pick those up yet. Uh, but basically, I I borrowed some diamonds from somebody and. Yeah, I said that they can come pick them up whenever they'd like, but apparently they haven't been on yet. Um, but yeah, last time, well, last time we tried to do this, but the server wasn't cooperating, so we went and played some Vermintide instead. So yeah, now it do now it is working, though. Okay, it, it does work with a glass block above it. That, maybe that's. Now, we, we've tried to open boxes before with something above it. It wouldn't work. And this should... Yeah. Okay, why does, it not, why does it work with glass above it, then? Okay, that's an oddity. But, yeah. And curiosity as well. So, yeah, last week, instead of uh, Minecraft, we did... Oh, I just noticed a mistake here. We did some Vermintides. Uh, do I have an axe on me? I do not. But yeah, now that yeah, now we can finish this up a bit, mostly by just putting a, an anvil over here, and maybe make another bookcase to make this more symmetrical. I'm not too sure about starting with enchanting stuff because I don't I don't know too much about enchanting. I do know that we need lapis for that, which is going to be here. Yep. So, let me just dump off some of these extra bricks that we've brought along. And, yeah, then, uh, actually, they were, this one was supposed to be only for cobble. <laughs> I'll clean it up some other time. Oh, dear. Uh, mob drops here. And I'll leave it at that for now. I'll just dump the rest every, somewhere else. Uh, yeah, lapis there. And, hmm, I remember something about books, but no, it was probably modded. So for now, I'll just stick them in here so they're easy to get. For an anvil, we'll just need to grab some iron. Not sure how much of that we have left. Yeah, but, uh, oh, whatever plenty. you do, don't drop the anvil on your foot or head. Now, if you remember correctly, for an anvil, you need three iron blocks. And then this. There we go. Okay, now we can repair stuff if we want to. There. Okay. Um, we also need an alchemy stand. And I still need to grab an axe to fix that mistake in the wall. <laughs> uh, there we go. Now, now, we tried to make an alchemy stand last time, but it wouldn't work. I, I believe Wait. we need... Hmm. I don't remember that, unless it was during the time I went to pick up my food. Could be. We don't know the recipe, apparently. Um, oh. Maybe it's here somewhere? Let's yeah, see. maybe... Oh, yeah, maybe we tried, but didn't figure out how to do it. think so, probably. So, where is it going to be then? Okay, there's, not, there's no achievements with the alchemy at all. That, that's just odd. Uh, be our guest, no. Charge a respawn and occur to the maximum. 
Use a compass and a lodestone? Okay. I, yeah, I have no idea what all of that is, because uh, it has been quite a long time since I... It, well, it was quite a long time be in between the last time that I played this game and when we started with this. So for experts, for expert gameplay, you'd probably be better off looking for that somewhere else. For now, yeah, though, like, and I'm, I would have second-hand sources myself, thanks to YouTube. Let's see, put all of that away. And... Oh, dear. Hmm. Yep. Okay, someone coming into my room again to ask something. Um, let's see, put that there. there okay I, I get the feeling we're going to need blaze rods for the alchemy stand i remember something with that but mm, oh I, yeah you I could go need that. that okay we haven't found any of those yet so we're going to need to go into the nether for another reason as well then because yeah, i keep remembering yeah. oh, there's one uh, we were uh, we were already planning to go into the nether to build some roads and such, and where did the... Did it break? Oh, did it fall into the fire? I think I just plain... Oh, wait. I think they count as... as, as stone, not wood. <laughs> uh, oh, so yeah, that's that, why. that was the basalt, wasn't it? Yeah, I <laughs> completely forgot. It looks like wood. There we go, that's what we need. Just... Plug that little hole, and then we'll go off into the nether uh, with a lot of stone to make some roads around the place. There we go. <laughs> no, it Much doesn't better. look stupid. Well, yeah, I remember YouTubers always need to hunt place road by keep forgetting if it was a was for fuel or as a material, but I guess it's just to make the damn thing. Yep. Okay. I'm not going to bring those with, and I mean, I can hear. Oh, there. <laughs> okay, little visitor again. Hello. Did you just? I I made him be gone with a baguette. How stale is the baguette to kill a slime? <laughs> you okay. killed the slime with a loaf of bread. I probably shouldn't have. I probably shouldn't bring this along, but if we just manage to stay somewhat <laughs> safe, we shouldn't have too much trouble with it. No. Yeah, and one thing that is we also have today is. Try to fix if we have a bit of a road in the nether, so we don't get lost and don't have massive terrain disadvantage. Yeah. Now, let's see. I remember there was something over that way, and... Okay, that looked like there's something on fire there. There's something that way. There was a place where we could get basalt a lot easier. Yeah, like, we probably want to be making roads to them just for easier navigation. And, yeah. Well, just have some, a bit more safer path to go along with. Well, we'll so, first yeah. have to refine them again. <laughs> because yeah. it has so been be, half, half a month. Yeah. So it'd be basically something good for safety and easier just to find. Which yep. also would make it quicker to go back and forth. Uh, let's see. Uh, just realize, can you bring horses to the nether? You probably could, you probably shouldn't. Yeah, for... I'm trying to remember if I've ever seen any Minecrafter bring their horse to the nether or the end. That I, I don't think I have. You know, if we ever get our hands on a horse, we could give it a shot. Yeah, like... I can see it worth doing as long as you have more than one horse. 
Okay, and I, I noticed that the my VTuber model sometimes still does the angry look, even though I'm not doing anything like that. So that still needs to be, yeah, get rid of somehow. Uh, let's see. I'd rather not use the diamond pickaxe for this, but oh well. So what are we digging into? I'm pretty sure we were just going to have to go over a bit of a hill. Not dig through a mountainside. Almost a melody from all of this. <laughs> Breaking the wrong block again. Okay, that puts us somewhere I don't immediately recognize. Okay. Oh, Enderman up there. Let's see then. In this way, perhaps. Now, it has been, like I said, it has been over half a month since we've been on the server here. So it's going to take a bit for me to wreck, get my bearings again. That That is completely unexplored space because somebody would have gotten that glowstone in the meanwhile. <clears throat> and I don't think there's a way to mass produce uh, glowstone. Let's see. Um, oop, is the Enderman still there? Okay, let's block this off. I wonder, could could one technically make a giant lava lamp? <laughs> yep. There we go. Shut that off. It could be. Yeah, lava could be an, in a way a useful light source as long as thing breaks it. Yep. This um, probably makes me happy you they turn off the the nerf the creeper on the server for otherwise <laughs> Yeah one wrong creeper and you have lava everywhere. Yep. Okay, put this out. Might as well grab this. We should be safe from any pigs showing up because we have gold boots on. That's some Ow. extremely posh of you. <laughs> Walk around with golden boots. Oop, oop. We want those, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, crimson fungus. Shouldn't that be in the crimson biome? Hmm. Probably more common there. Either way, let's... We've already lost where we dug up. So let's. I'm not surprised. Actually, we can use these as markers for that, uh, for points like that. Oop. Hmm. Yep. To my knowledge, it's been pretty quiet on the server for quite a bit of time. I. I get the feeling people are starting to lose interest in it. it would be a pity. For, yeah. I can enjoy the Minecraft streams we have. Let's see. There. And then. There we go. Now, I wouldn't okay. mind keeping going for a while more. Yeah. No, have an idea. It, it, here's an idea. It's you, you would want calling shots. If they were to abandon this, would you like to do the idea of uh, doing a modded Minecraft with Warhammer fantasy theme? Uh, we could try something like that, yeah. I've I've not made mods before, but I've assembled mod packs that somewhat work before, which isn't really that hard. Just need to grab a bunch of mods and get them to work together. Ow. Yeah, hmm. we, we probably should... Go reward like just like quality of life and Warhammer or any other fantasy. You so you, yeah, you could do your own little halfling village or dwarven town or something like that. 
Hopefully, mm -hmm. it would mean that the war mode allows you to actually have something beside villagers in your village. Uh, wait, that. They came, they came off sound a bit odd, didn't it? Yeah, a bit. Uh, did that block ev Yes, that did block everything off on that. Uh, what I mean is, it would be nice to have something else to populate your village with, beside. But okay, but why did it? Are the entire species called p villagers or what? I don't think they're ever given a name, so everyone just calls them villagers. <laughs> so. And the evil counterpart, pillagers. Yep. Is it does, does that sound like the rather cheesy? Yeah, but it, it does. It, it is. It's a case of uh, it's exactly what it re says on the tin, so that yeah. you instantly know what's going on with it. Come on. Now is there another hole on the other oh, side? Oh, full level. Hmm. I want to say there's a gas nearby, but I realized there's just someone. Do we seem to be the bike outside? <laughs> there we go, another one locked off. Okay, I know of a general direction in which we are. We are still close to the portal. Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe the other way was the quick path to the basalt area. Let's see, let's get a oop, here an enderman nearby. Oh dear. Oop, yeah. uh, hello. Um, um <laughs> a bit stuck, well, are we? Hmm. And you should spare him. How nice. Let's see. I, I think we are above where we usually be. Let's but there's see. a portal there, but I'm sure that I don't think that's ours. Nope, because ours is surrounded by green woods, which, well, when everything around it is green, is a bit of a bad idea on second thought. Yeah, I, I did tell you that. That uh, you probably want something else that stands yes. out a bit more. I think we're going to need to find that place where we dug down or dug up, because I think we dug up into a different layer. Yeah, I think so too. And do you have anything with you to make a little root puff? Yeah, all the cobblestone that I have. Wonderful. Something that uh, stands out is the key. Yep. Okay, come on. And that's another spout closed off. Oh, it's not really a spout, more like a, a leak. Okay, where did we dig up? We could, of course, try to dig down, but it's a good chance we'll just drop in somewhere then. Hmm. Yeah, like, uh, I saw a stone, br a bridge, which might be a good uh, way to identify where we are. Nope, almost looked there. Let's see, we... Okay, it's near here. Just need to keep in mind not to look around too wildly with the Enderman around. Okay, it should be somewhere around here, I think. There's another one. It, hmm. We could also use cobblestone or some other stone to mark out where our portal is. But uh, actually, yeah, the, the cobstone would probably be nope. better as a road. Hmm? There, here we what? go. Now we can use it for just about anything since to make it stand out more. Yeah, and we do have some of those light things to, uh, well, look, work like that. Yep. <laughs> okay. Let's not go too fast because there's no rail in at the end here. Oh, 
Well, hey, as if we have a bridge here, a uh, if you can call that a bridge. It's more like a slap that uh, <laughs> set of stone planks. Yeah, uh, it's probably good to make it look like a proper bridge, so you have an area to make the road from and connect. Do. And now we know we won't just run immediately off the edge if we run our way down. Yeah. Okay, time to get rid of this. Yeah, that actually, you know, we almost camouflaged the damn thing. I might want to make a bit of an outpost around this thing as well. Yeah, just don't put down a bed in the nether. Yep. I'm talking more like uh, chests and such, so we don't have to go back through the portal each and every time. Do you hear that? Yes, it's right next to me. We're right behind at the moment. Let's see. Is it a nether netherman? Enderman, I mean? Yes. Hello. Okay. I should probably make well a, a diamond sword. There we go. He's, he stole some gravel from somewhere. <laughs> okay. Let's see, yeah, might as well remove the trees here. Since, yeah, the trees kind of, they are nice, but in this case, they are pretty good at hiding the damn portal. Yep. This, but in PP, that would be a good thing, but this is not a PP. No. Okay, I heard a ping, someone on Steam. I, I heard that too. Okay, Beanie, you just made a, a new sub for Barrow Trauma. Ah. Okay, well, we'll probably test that out next time he goes to stream and I join him on that. <laughs> Which typically oh, ends to, well, end in a lot of mayhem. But there's no calling it a slaughter without laughter. Almost butchered that badly. Yep. I don't think that would work well. Much better. Now it will be less cramped. Yep. Okay. Build out a bit from the back. Still have this mushroom things on pot hop. On, on pot one. <laughs> on top of the dead uh, wool. On... <laughs> it sounded like you said something completely different for some reason. Go on. What uh, do you like... think I said? Yeah, pot lock. Uh, pot lock. Okay. Might but well I don't blame you area. for... This is probably a very good area for cooking, if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, as long as you uh, don't mind the taste of eternal suffering in your sausage. <laughs> I'll tell you to say that you know I love sausages. <laughs> oh wait, have I ever told you I like that? Well, now you have. Yeah, uh, don't take that out of context, people. <laughs> Oh, they will. No, uh, let's see. <laughs> the instinct is when you see something out of the corner of your eye, 
is to glance towards it, but that's what the Enderman catch you on. Yeah, this is actually a kind of a sneaky design. Okay, I remember that there's some way somewhere here that leads that that leads to a uh, <clears throat> to a fire area closer than the other one that we'd found before. Uh, I think it's a, a bigger bridge we made there. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm going to need to find the point of interest. For the, the the points of interest first, before I really start building out roads to them. Otherwise, yeah, I'll just be making roads to nowhere. Yeah, it's definitely a good idea to make a road to where you need to go. I get the feeling this is something that I dug out <laughs> and flooded. Yep. Here we go. Okay. I just gotta, I just gotta keep a mental note that the base is that way, where our, our portal is. Then just, oh, hello. That was very quick. Oh, we found it. No, or now it's or a different one. Either way, we have point A. We have point B. Now we just need to find a bit of a find a bit of a line between them that well doesn't take too much time to dig out and it's probably better if I just lay down a, a line of cobblestone instead of just digging out a path yeah for you you can basically just make a road that way yeah it takes a lot less time as well and more merciful towards your tools. I wasn't actually intending to be <laughs> to do this. Mostly, yeah, why was I wanting to do that? I've <laughs> even forgotten myself now. Okay. Shortcut. Uh, let's see, is here? Somebody's been here as well. Um, I need to keep in mind that there's multiple levels to this, so I don't get lost too much. Or that I built the wrong way. Now, okay. Going to need a, a lot like, of cobblestone. Looks almost like we can make just a tunnel straight towards there. We could probably, but yeah, let's not try to make it. If let's not have most of this stream be just digging a tunnel. Yeah. Well, now let's get a line going on and make a road from that when we know how to build the road. I think this is going to be less a road that you walk on and more like a line you follow. Uh, probably. Yeah, well, it'll serve the same purpose, basically. Yeah, though making it be like a broader road would make it easier to spot from a distance. True. Well, that's going to so be now, yeah, taking a lot of time. Yeah, so for now, I just say, let's stay with the line for now, at least till we found the spot we want to connect it to. There's From there, the we can one. make a road more uh, streamlined, so to speak. 
Um, uh, yeah, but that that can be done off screen or something. Yeah, I would definitely recommend that doing that off the stream. For we do also want to do some adventuring and find the damn things we need for the alchemy table. Yep, for that we're going to need to find <clears throat> another fortress. Okay, I think that'll do. Uh, let's block this off as best we can. Is there? Yes, there's. I hear slime. Oh, hello. hello. We should probably make some uh, diamond armor when we return, and at the very least, a diamond. Oh, diamond sword. I almost forgot that they do that. Okay, keep weaving, and we shouldn't get hit. Okay. Uh, let's not dig into the mushroom that is currently being showered with lava, because that'll probably get us showered with lava instead. Uh, let's be careful. Okay. Go. Now we just gotta put in the plug. Okay, that makes this a lot easier, or a lot safer. <laughs> a lot less likely to give us accidental burns at the very least. Yeah. And, uh, I keep taking fall damage. <laughs> so much for being safe. Go. Yeah, the, the more lava that we can block off, the safer things will be in general for well, any, everything. <clears throat> yeah, less chance of us, or less chance of Helian accidentally running into it. Oh, a little survivor. Okay. What survivor? I see no survivors. The only problem that we have here is that it's a corner that doesn't really have an opening in it. So we'll have to dig around so well, we find an actual open area in it. So... Well, uh, it's the materials we want. True. Uh, we'll just have to be careful where we mine it. Because yeah. Yeah, we won't know if there's lava behind it. Technically, it'd be magma, since we are underground, I believe. I think so. Okay, for a moment I thought I saw something. Are we, at this point, I get the feeling we're going to start getting Herobrine sightings or something. Have you ever heard of that? I heard of it. Look. I'm not sure I've seen any YouTubers see it, like, sure I've seen videos of them recording or so on the sea, claiming seeing it, but that's it. I haven't seen any YouTuber actually see it during the gameplay. Yeah, it, it is, to my knowledge, mostly just uh, uh, a hoax that there is no act, there was no actual Herobrine character or something in the game. Uh, let's see, how are, are we up? Let's see, 61. Yep. Hmm. I don't actually know how high the ceiling of the nether is. Uh, let's try to stick to the the ceiling of this basalt and such. That way we can easy, more easily dig our way down. Yeah, and the basalt is actually quite an awesome building material. You found more about it? Or more just... of just what I... More of what I've seen so far from how you've been using it, like... It's still, but it works like log. Yep. Which means we can make... Pillars and other things from it, like we can make... 
quite nice rooms with it. Actually, the thing about it, it probably would be good uh, doorway pillars. Hmm. Yeah, we could decorate the the, the doorways with them. It uh, would make yep. it a bit more distinctive than just uh, the andesite and such around it. Yeah, instead of just a flat hole. Okay, I can hear... The, I can hear lava, but it's the nether, so you can practically always hear lava. Yep. Do, I do wonder if there's other versions of basalt you can do. Like, can you make stairs of the elite or something like that? Um, uh, let's see. Okay, only polished. Or at least we only have the recipe for polished basalt. Maybe with some sort of tool or workbench we could use it to make stairs or such. For now, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll call, we can call this our... Uh, blackstone and basalt quarry because I get the feeling we would have hit an open area if there was run by now yep so yeah yeah this is basically going quarry then yeah and typically quarries are built are, are dug downwards but this one's dug upwards I want to be I, I keep pressing tab because I've been playing V rising and that opens up your inventory on tab. Yes, uh, like Valheim. Yeah, we should okay, get started with that again. Yeah, I apparently has some issue for some people, but the, hopefully the next patch should fix a lot of issues Wait. and also sort of be both sort of waiting for uh, the Mistland to come out. Okay, today I learned you can climb these things. <laughs> Wait, you didn't. Nope. <laughs> yeah, we could use those as improvised ladders or something, if we can plant them. I think you might be able to. I... Okay, I'm now unsure. But it does look like some of the other micros would love to use our decorations. Especially a practical decoration. Give me a second, going to reset the this okay so look forward i don't know get why but vc face keeps having some sort of drift in it that it it makes my character look seemingly makes my character look uh, more to one side over time <laughs> okay you notice Oh, I think we've hit the other side of the basalt. And actually, this might be... I guess I think this is where we found the closer basalt, I think. Hmm. Maybe? At least okay. so we, can, we know where we can make our roads now. Yep. Let's not have it go right over the edge of the big gap. Actually, speaking of, just for safety's sake. Yeah, and again, healing can always uh, improve the road off, off screen. Yep. Okay. Let's not leave that gap there. <laughs> No, there, I jumped down a bit of a ramp here. Okay. So just lead it that way. Yep. Okay, I should not put those there anymore. Because this keeps happening. It, it would be interesting to see an entire road made of those. It might be mistaken for lava at, from a distance. Yeah. Okay. 
keep pressing... I should be pressing shift when I click on those, not tab. <laughs> Breaking muscle memory. And I can hear a ghast somewhere. No, the heck. Okay, just imagine you build your house in an old world made of these logs. That would look pretty cool. Yep, and easy to spot. Careful. He's coming straight for us with. <laughs> okay. The motion will be quite nice logs to use to, to, for uh, unique uh, mine shafts. Like, yeah, you, your wood support for the cave is glowing. It would save on torches. Okay. So, so we have a big open area here. Like, torches would at least block spawns, but at least if you run out of the torches, at least you can see something uh, in the tunnel that gives you some hint where you are. Yep. What is these flames over here? Oh, piggies. Um... Also, I just now remember that we found some sort of stronghold. Not a nether fortress, but a stronghold of something. Oh, hello, big boy. But I forget where it was. I think I noted down its coordinates somewhere. But then the question is, where did I note them down? Yeah, you should have a Minecraft notebook. Let's see. Let's hope that that... Uh, Slime isn't going to jump scare us from behind. Ooh. Right. Okay, so they were just normal fire, just seen from the side. Yeah, okay. I'm going to tell you this, not as I'm putting meme say, but... Don't die, I'm just going to go and throw some food into the machine. And I mean it, for I know how dangerous the nether is. And I know how you are with holes. Uh, yep, somehow I keep falling down them. <laughs> there seems to be something over there, so I'm going to take a look. First, I need to dig my way down. And hopefully a <laughs> more safe manner than normal. Safety is still that way. Okay, what is with that? There's some sort of white sand over that way. There we go. Now the zombie piglins shouldn't be bothering us unless we bother them. Okay, what is this? Okay, just normal nether. Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong place. Uh, let's see, where does it say... Nether wastes. Okay, over that. And these are the basalt deltas. Okay. I don't think we've been in the wastes before. Actually, we've been to these red forests. Hmm. That totally looks like some sort of creature standing there, but that's probably just a rock formation. Hmm. Let's block that off. Especially since we so we don't fall down it. Oh, back. Welcome back. Thank you. I must, I've been back for a while, I just need to blow my nose. I'd rather not do it near the mic. For obvious reasons. Yep. Le last thing is, uh, if me wanted to suddenly jump scare you with me blowing my nose and fall, you fall into a lava. 
but that would probably be a fun you to clip. Uh, Dutch yeah, captain wanted... jump scared by sneeze. <laughs> Okay, we are going to need to dig down. That was a different sound. What is that? I don't think I recognize that material. What material? That. What is that pillar? Yeah, that's there. That's just overlit uh, wart block. It's because oh. the lava is streaming down it. Okay, I didn't recognize it. Uh, we so well lit. Okay, let's do a check. We haven't dug too low. Okay. Gold. Yep. Okay, let's grab all of this and then continue on because we are almost at the bottom of the nether, I think. Oh, and we're hmm? full on something. Uh, let's, let's toss the single <laughs> torch that we're carrying around. There we go. Ground floor. We can probably still go deeper. Uh, yeah, 30 oh, blocks it, deeper, but probably should avoid that. Yeah, likely very dangerous. And to note that this is here. Yeah. Um, why, what? It I... <laughs> makes it look like it's a plant with a growing bulb. Uh, uh, oh, I see baldies. Oh, oh it's, uh, it's gravel. Okay, that, the lighting makes it look like it's white. That could have been badly if the, the gravel underneath us wasn't supported. Like that. Yeah we, yeah, we definitely need to do some proper work here to avoid disaster. Is it... Yeah, here we go. Okay, this all looks safe-ish. I think there's a piglin buried somewhere down here, I think. For now, let's continue on. Because I am curious at what the hell is over there. Could have just been a, a strange rock formation, but it could just be something else as well. Might as well make use of someone else's bridge while we're here. Yeah, we, let's put cobblestone on both sides of this, so it looks like a, well, an actual road. <laughs> That way, it would be very obvious that this is also a road from a distance. Yep. Oh, well, sorry, I mean a bridge in this case. Oh, hello there, little piglin. There might be a village of them nearby or something. I think they usually are in the fortress, but I'm sure they have villages otherwise. Beside I think I've fort. heard of the. Yeah, I I think I've heard of piglins or uh, the the living pig uh, nether pigs, uh, having villages somewhere. But that might be from mods or something. For now, let's Either just finish this. mods or maybe extremely rare, <laughs> or something that we'll have soon, perhaps. Maybe. Now, what is this? It's nothing because it breaks up. <laughs> okay. Let's just grab this because it looks cool. Actually, we could probably swap out some of the uh, logs that we put in the smithy with these. To not have all of them be green. It would probably be better since, well, 
it, it, it kind of has the color fitting for a forge. And oh yeah, actually yeah, red for the smithy, and we could use the green ones for the garden. Yeah. Kind of makes yeah. sense, doesn't it? It'd be nice to have some green pillars lighting up the gardens. Okay. Continuing on a bit again. There's... Yeah, we're going to need to find some way to get up there and block that off to get rid of all of that lava. <laughs> Almost got jump scared by that. Okay. No. Okay, so it was just an odd rock formation here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the music. <laughs> <laughs> we know the general way back, thanks to the... Oh, hello. Thanks to the uh, road work that we've laid down. Okay, there's a lot of piglins around here. Okay, wait for that to vanish. Way back is that way. Just need to keep that in mind in the internal compass. We could have been here before. Because we already sure? found a red forest before. Yeah, that we have. Yes, I'm sure if this is, is this one. Right. Okay, exit is behind us. Yeah, this one, this definitely has the much creepier sounds and music. Okay, someone has been here, likely. Or it is just, yeah, it's just a normal path. Actually, no, someone has been over there, at least. Hmm. Uh, looks like it becomes our job to improve their work in making it damn safer. Now, uh, we made the last time that we could get on the server, we did make use of that uh, nether <clears throat> highway on the ceiling of the, uh, well, <laughs> of the dimension. Uh, they've probably just been building up there all the time to, well, get around quick, but that's mostly between locations in the overworld, not in the nether itself. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I like that system of them cheat. It almost feels a little bit of cheating to do that, but I saw them do a lot of time. Let's see. This feels a bit familiar. Ooh, almost, almost. <laughs> okay, let's head back to... Uh, it should be right across there. There we go. Okay, and we're back here. Hmm... Okay, where? Actually, let's head up, up there. Uh, I wanna. Do you wanna plug up that hole? Uh, which one? This one or that one over here? The one uh, back there. For it is a, 
He's like that's a dead and whole waiting for you to fall in and die. Go. Might as well. And might as well fill up the other one as well. Or at least block part of it off so we don't fall into it as easily. Okay. We still need to find a nether fortress somewhere. So... That should be somewhere. Let's take another look from here, because these big open spaces are good for scouting around. Even though getting around them is hard as all balls. That's where the basalt area continues on. And actually, one way to help with this, not controls, video settings. Let's up that to 20 chunks. That should give us a better look. Okay, a bit better look, but still nothing useful in sight. Actually... Let's for a moment just throw this up a lot. That Okay, that's actually not doing much. Probably because there's only so much around us that the server will allow to be loaded in. So let's put yeah. that to 18. And Yeah, let's let's go plug up that lava stream. And we're done with that at the very least. Make this area more safe. And maybe we'll just find another fortress around the corner here. Hopefully. But there should be some... Somewhat... Something somewhere. Okay. That was not me burping, that was the pig. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See? Wait. Oh. <laughs> it's in the lava. So that was a little bit... Diff... Was that a hoglin? Possibly. There's something going on outside. I, I heard that. What was that? Yeah, it sounds like just some uh, kids chasing each other or something. Uh, let's sounds see. like an animal from my end. Okay, that's at least part of this blocked off. Is that a pigling or a hog? A hogling may be more dangerous. Okay, he's still not completely blocked off. Hmm. There we go. It's going to block off a lot of the lava flow and here there there we go that still leaves this big lake but we can block it off on its own at the very least, now that the curtain of lava is gone. Yeah. Oh dear. And it looks like the piglins prefer to spawn in the red areas. Because we I don't think we've seen any in the green areas. Yeah, I think they're more rarer in green areas, but more common in red. Is also where the hoglings are more common. 
And if and I remember correctly, they, those are hostile no matter if you are wearing gold or not. Yeah, they, they are animals. Is it, it is a... It is a boar. Four legs and all. Gee. And there we go. Now the source is cut off. Okay, let's have a look around. Nothing of interest much in sight. Oh, hello, there's one. You piggy. Probably yeah, again, not too agitated then. Yeah, they... I think they have a charge attack. Hello, Pumba. Yeah, you see what he, he did to the piglin there? I, I thought they were aligned or something. No, no. But, yeah, if I remember right, Hogling will toss you around, which is more reason what you don't... what they can close to your sense. Yeah. Oh, no more likely to fall in. Yeah, fall in lava or whatnot. Or just get very lost. Okay, I don't know if much of all of that is audible, but there's some people being loud outside. Hmm. Nope, not audible. Now, luckily then. Okay. I'm gonna check on my food, however, so... Don't die. I mean it. Don't die. <laughs> It's not like I'm trying to. Uh, that's our handiwork down there. I see you're looking at there. the fire. You can't eat the fire. Um, let's see. Do we have any real use of nether quartz? Besides cosmetics? I know it's I used a lot some... in mods. I think it's used for something else. Uh, for some cross thing recipes. Hmm. And we already have a decent one. amount. I don't know that you, they value them a lot. So it's the probably more than just decoration. Okay. We can always come back for more if we need it. For now, let's just find a way back down. <laughs> Someone's been digging over that way, or not digging, building. This is our handiwork. We were just here like a minute ago. Okay. But what I miss, I always mistook that Enderman for a portal. Okay. Moving along. Hmm. Oh, piggy. Anything down this? Okay, this is back here. And, okay, it didn't hide it that much, but oh well. The, the lava curtain, that is. Hmm. Okay, let's try and continue that way, then. Maybe we'll find another fortress right there. Hmm. Has anyone de built out from this before? It doesn't look like. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's dig our way out. Hopefully not run into lava again. Okay, what is with the... What is it with it making faces? Let's see. Let me reset it again. Let's see. There, maybe that'll fix that. I've tried disabling the angry expression on this model, but apparently that refuses to work or something. I can yeah, there. Back. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay. Okay, that's just nether rack that's lit by reflecting the glowstone, so that's nothing special. Okay. More quartz. Uh, until we find out... Uh, what was that? <laughs> until we find out what actual use that has, I think I might just skip it. Hmm. And I'm not going yeah, to but skip it and just throw it away. But these two battles just threw away. So better just leave it alone. Yep. Till it's needed. Still no fortress anywhere. Uh, where did I dig into here? We passed by that, so it should be around here-ish. I really should just mar immediately mark these exit points. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Actually, you should probably mark them with a cobblestone frame. Then the light. That way it really stands out. Yep. Uh, maybe doors as well. Or unless they can open doors. For now, this will just have to do. Yep. Hmm. Let me think. Let's just head back for a bit and start exploring into a different direction. And maybe connect some of these points together. Oh, hello, Piggy. We're running a yeah. into a bunch of uh, those. Tactical retreat! Hope they're too big for the hole. Uh, their model should be too uh, wide, I think. Okay. Uh, another marker here. For now, these markers will probably work better than... I hear a ghast. Then just connecting things with a line the entire way. We should probably do something better than this here, though. Um, let's see, we can probably connect from there to oh. there. I think I heard a gas. Yep. Question is where it is. We don't want to get ambushed by it whilst we're building this bridge. Okay, once we reach here, it should just be a straight line back to familiar territory. Hopefully. Definitely gonna need to upgrade that one with more... Um, ...safety rails. Like this. Yeah. Oh, 
need a fresh stack. And might as well start it on this side as well. Yeah, it kinda needed. Again, what is with the avatar constantly making the angry face from when I when I look over? I might need to turn off the expressions again because that's getting annoying. Maybe I'm leaning forwards too much or something. That only mistakes your focused face for angry face for Sometimes people, uh, when people are very focused, because they accidentally look angry. Could be. There we go. No mistake about it. It looks kind of nice, actually. What was that noise there for a moment? Okay, let's clear out the path a bit so these posts are visible to each other. Yeah, easier to see the post and road. And yeah, we are planning okay. to use this uh, wood after all. Or mushroom. Okay, reset this super thing again. It, it is in a better position where it should be able to ac accurately read my face, but... For some reason, it still doesn't want to. And now I'm actually getting angry at the stupid program. Okay, it needs to clean out a bit more. Oh, no. yep. I feel like there should be an easier way to do this. Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what these blocks break easier with. It seems like they just break at the normal rate with everything. I must figure like if you could burn it down or just... blow it up, but... We do want to wood. Yep. Okay. Now that that's connected, uh, we're back over here. The quarry is over that way. Actually, let me build some... Th Actually, no, there's too much blo uh, side blockage with all of these. Yep. Okay. Very stubborn plant. We should probably grab a bunch of this as well. Since we can put it down a normal uh, nether rack, we can also just use it to climb up places. Yeah. If, if we have room for it, of course. Uh, we can toss those because I don't think they have any use. Wait, what do you throw away? Uh... Twisted spores or vine that's the not the vines, the the grass like stuff. Like these. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if they are used for some potions or something. Could be, but if they are we can always just get more. Yeah, unless there are those farms that you need to find the wild, that you can't do a form of them. Hmm. Even then, there's there's just plenty all around, I'd say. What was that noise? A strider? Hmm? Yeah, what? The, wait. This is way too far off a strider. The noise made sound like a burp. Okay, this place. I think we've gone down this way before. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, we've gone we that way. Actually, oh, we probably want to tame a strider, for that would, could make things easier to find a uh, 
fortress and such. Uh, I, I thought they couldn't be tamed. I thought you could just only ride them. Yeah, you can put a saddle on them and all. And you can steer them. Okay. So they are... But they're not like tame, like, they're, yeah, they're not like tamed horses. They may wander away. But you can still can put a saddle and use a carrot on a stick. Okay. Ooh. Almost. Uh, let's see, we've definitely been over this way before, so let me put up that. I get the feeling we might have circled around. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the feeling with, that we've circled around a long way. <laughs> yep, <laughs> we've circled back. Oh, that was a close one there. Enderman randomly rounds the corner. Oh dear. Yeah, we can still fight them pretty well, and if especially if we can get into a small, <clears throat> into a small hiding place where it can't actually reach us. Let's see. Wait, it, it broke the block. Here we go. Yeah, let's drop some of the nether rack. That's the first time I got pork. Okay. Oh, yeah, we, we haven't actually seen any pigs until then, I think. Or overworld pigs, that is. Are we still? Yeah, hello. Big one. Yeah, we haven't seen a single overworld pig, I think. Yeah, that, that's kind of weird, ain't it? Yeah. Especially with how the that pit that we found had so many different animals stuck inside, but not a single freaking pig. Yeah, that is weird. Hmm. Okay, for now, let's just head the other way, see what we can find there. Oop, I'm filling that in. I guess I almost fell down. Good boy. I, I saw these things were added with a mod or something when I found them. <laughs> no, no, they are part of the game. Yeah, I've I've seen them in modded game, in a modded world that I ran. So I thought that the, I thought the, a mod added them in with that. Uh, there. And I think our safety is this way. Yep, there it is. Okay. Hmm. Probably should lower the. Ceiling a bit in case of Enderman. And for now, we just need let... uh, some uh, doors. Uh, Enderman can spawn uh, or can teleport around doors. Oh. Okay. Now that we're here, let's drop off some blocks. Uh, actually grab some more just for the road work and put I'll just throw everything <clears throat> everything in here for the moment then we can figure it out later okay. actually diamond sword I said I was going to make one and might as well get some armor I need a stick. A single stick. <laughs> okay, there. And then chest piece would mo be most important. 
And then we have not enough for another. Well, uh, we can use that. Okay. Yep. There and there. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a try with enchanting. Let's see if there's anything installed to make this easier. Okay, no, it doesn't. Okay, that is a bit annoying. It, 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 if you manage to translate this, then it, I believe you can just outright read what it will give. Then there's a reason that there's a question mark at the end there. But it's still annoying. I'm pretty sure there is no way to disenchant uh, an item once you have uh, used it, once you have enchanted it. Yeah, the hmm. unbreaking does sound handy. Yeah, if it is unbreaking, because it can be something else. But there is there should oh. there, there is one certain way of getting what you want with an enchantment, and that is to get an enchanted book. So let's rush over for a quick bit. Uh, what could we bring to sell, actually? How many emeralds do we have? Likely not many. Oh, 14. That should be enough for something, maybe. Let's bring some of this along to possibly sell. Okay, just oh dear. a quick visit to the neighbors. Still need to install the freaking rails. <laughs> The speeder and boosters and the carts. Yeah, and maybe some doors. <laughs> Otherwise, at least soon build your own living quarters instead of just having your bed in the hallway. <laughs> okay, creeper, keeping an eye on that. Let's see, what would be best to put on the swords? Um, something like unbreakable, but also sharpness to deal extra damage. Oh, yeah. And maybe something... Okay, I don't know what which one does fire damage, but I'm pretty sure this one that does fire damage. Ooh. Why does that have these sparkles coming off it? Okay. Curious. Hmm. I think one of the reasons maybe that the avatar seems to be grimacing every now and then is because this game is actually being run in full screen. Uh, then again, it would have done the same during some of our streams of Technomates because that is also run in full screen. So I have to look around more at Hmm. Okay, let's see. Silk touch would be useful on a pickaxe. And we've got gold, not iron. Let's see, protection, buzz of experience, loyalty, that's for the... You don't have anything on labels. Okay, you're just a librarian. And what have we... Okay, let's just ex for expansion in the future. Glowstone, impaling, looting. Fortune. Hmm. Okay, now... Uh, Emerald Aces marketplace was a, quite a bit bigger than uh, <laughs> Mary's here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just have to risk it or find time to uh, to travel over to their place. Yeah, and I believe was it a port over there. there is there? Uh, a sawmill. What do you use sawmill for? Yeah, uh, for, yeah, processing wood and such. Yeah, strip the bark off and such. We could uh, try okay. and make one of those or find one of them. That is that. That's a zombie and enchanted ladder. 
I don't actually know if you can make those or not, the uh, workstations. Uh, you can make leather armor. You're only sure you can make shaman armor. Yeah, I meant the uh, workstations. Uh, I'm not sure if you can make those or if you need to steal them from the villagers or not. Oh, hello. Good question. Let's still use our iron sword here on the overworld since it's a lot safer. Well, in general, at least. And then we use the diamond sword in the nether. Hmm. That sounds like a wise idea. Okay, then. Uh, whilst we are... Hmm. We could use blackstone to basically cap these places off and then put a door in it. Let's take a quick look how that would look. Uh, we still have some doors, yes. And then after that we can continue our hunt for a fortress. Yep. It would be nice for some, uh, yeah, things for to make the world alchemy station. All right, it looks decent. Doesn't look the best, but yeah, it, it works. Yeah, it, there's room for improvement. One bit of improvement that we can do is move this forward so that it's actually mirrors with the other side. Well, mostly mirrors, at least. <laughs> yep, not there. Um, I guess you can just jump through the hole. <laughs> Now, there is a way to force yourself into the swimming mode uh, animations uh, whilst on land. <clears throat> For that, I think you need a, a a piston to basically shove you uh, to force you down into a one uh, high space. Okay, stash all of that. And here we go. We'll continue on in the opposite direction. And we still have half an hour. So... Yeah, we'll see what we find. We might have find that stronghold again. If we're lucky. And I'm not feeling lucky enough to try and risk that. Yeah, that, that, that one has to be fixed. Now we just go around it. Go. It's like we're making a freaking snowman. Okay. The lucky thing is that there's plenty of these glow shroom things, yeah, shroom lights are all over the place, so we can always get extra if we run out. Yep. Okay, dead end this way. Death below. Okay, here's a passageway. When we haven't gone through, because I'm otherwise we probably would have blocked off that stream. It's definitely someone else been here. And none of these bridges that we're building would survive um, a gas attack, but 
at the very least it's better to be able to run across uh, and not fall in on your own. Yeah, and it's easy to run across when the bridge is not too damn slim. Yep. And sometimes the bridges have mobs, which makes it harder to run past them on a very narrow uh, bridge. This made me wonder why many YouTubers that play Minecraft uh, insist on making them so small as possible. Yeah, but if there is a mob on it and you need to run across a one wide one, then you're going to be in, in trouble. Yeah, and it has happened way too many times, I think. And it's innocent, it, and yet they have died so many times due to they made them bridge to too narrow. But it's... They're just too lazy to make a proper secure bridge. That or it's not as uh, quote-unquote fun. Because half of the entertainment with my, a lot of Minecraft streamers is just uh, when things go... <laughs> when things go wrong. Yeah. But it also feels a bit painful to see them lose all the hoarded loot to lava. Yeah, that is the risk. And they took it, so they'll just have to live with it. Like I, how I'm not taking risk by hovering over the lava. Hello. Okay, invisible blocks. There we go. Is the server having a hiccup. Okay, back into another waste area. And I probably should have brought more food. <laughs> Oh, really? Uh, why you say that? Because we're out. We out of food? Just gotta be extra certain then. Careful. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. I wanted some pork chops. Okay. I I, I kind of wonder how your f friends will react when you see some of the bridges we've been making that actually look like actual bridges. Yeah, if they even use these areas still. <laughs> yeah, but still we've been doing things to see how they react to what Wait. Has someone made it so this is render or what is going on? Oh. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's... Well, it's at least... I think we found this before. It's only part of a fortress. Do we might still have uh, what we're looking for. But I, don't, I don't think we got the chance to explore it due to... Uh, that. It's, it's out of the freaking rendering distance. I wonder what would happen if a ghast would piss off the piglins. I would forgot. we go after it? I, I, might, I think they might think it's you who hurt them, who you stand too close when it happens. Yep. Oh, there's more of the fortress, okay. Alright, so you yep. have to loaded in, uh, maybe explored it here last time. And there's a portal here that's next to it. Yep, so... Let's not accidentally break that by having the gas shoot it. Where is the freaking thing? Hmm. Did it go somewhere else? It might have unrendered or something because it was just sniping us from behind. Yeah, you know, just behind it. Or just in the rendering distance or something. I'm not hearing it anymore, that's for certain. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure last time we only saw, like, a part of this here. Not the rest. So, will this be big enough to hold? Oh, we can't run anymore. It, yes, it's big enough. It's big enough. Okay. Then the best thing I can think of for now is to retreat and get some food. And also Yay. bring along some signs to put on the uh, road markers we've built. Yep. Uh, yeah, that would be good if you also fix this. There we go. And yeah, with the gas gone, let's have a look at where this leads. Uh, oh, that, we're out of... First thing, though... So you can't accidentally jump into the lava right behind it. Okay, cool. let's see. This is going to need to load up quite a bit. Oop, that went quick. Where is this? J bloops? Oh, we <laughs> got a visitor along. Is Let's this see. heaven? Well, uh, 19, uh, 1982 by 140. Okay. Is it's it Deutschland? <laughs> Looks like it. Uh, let's have a quick peek around for anything interesting. And then we'll head back. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, if if we have to stop with the server, uh, I'll slap together a mod pad. I'll probably a, a mod pad, a mock mod pack. I'll probably just use all the mods as a, all the mods six or whatever number is out now as the base and just add on to that. Hello. Did we just crash the server by traveling too far for a bit? Oh, we didn't... Oh, it's still up there. Let's what? hope that didn't break anything. Otherwise, it's going to be a very long walk back. Oh, don't tell me we're going to have this again. Okay. E well, that looks like we're going to have to cut the stream short then. Uh... At the very least, we got an hour and a half out of this, and not like five minutes like last time. No, it, it was fine. Oh. Okay. All right. If it, if it freaks out again... Uh, if it freaks out again, I think it'd be probably safer to not try logging in again. And, oh uh, yeah, it's broken still. They would have been sent through already. Okay. I guess this area is cursed. I'll give it one more try. Nope. Okay, yeah. Um I, I hope it doesn't mean that oh wait, it's still light to decide. Uh alright. Well Collection um... reset. <laughs> You you also went robotic there for a moment. Uh, I don't so I don't think it could be on my end with the connection because the stream is still going and you're still uh, coming uh, through. Mine's, mine's is voice connection is clean. Yep, <laughs> it sounds still a bit robotic, but all right then it's on your end. Hmm. Okay, someone might be screwing around with the internet, but yeah, that that'll cut the stream a bit short then. Uh, yeah, it was fun to get back into this, and we'll still have to clean up the nether quite a bit more, but at least we found a freaking fortress now, and we know how to get there due to the milestones that I've put up. Oh yeah. Uh, 
so yeah um let me take a look at my schedule for the coming week um i should be able to stream on tu uh, on tuesday uh, yep yeah, tuesday uh thursday and friday is a well no though because yeah i've got shifts that interfere with that but the weekend uh let's see that's monday i should put note the month which day is there tuesday thursday friday the weekend should be free though oh i did notice i did note the days next to it on the other side <laughs> so yeah uh we'll have hopefully things can still change after all hopefully we'll have at least one techno mate stream next week and then continuing with tales of monkey island and yeah i'll see about minecraft maybe uh Hmm. We can continue with the server a bit more, but I'll start looking at making a mod pack just in case things are st are starting to whittle out. Yeah, Mike, uh, how good is have a backup plan for? <clears throat> It'd be a shame if the main thing just uh, walked Left. away or something. Yeah, plus there doesn't seem like many of them really stream in the EU at time zones, so yeah, it's being on a server doesn't really help much then if there's hardly anyone going to be around at most times. <clears throat> yeah, and we're not exactly night owls. Well, maybe Helion is, but I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have to see with that. So... Yeah, if you know any decent mods to try and put into it, you can point me towards them. But beyond that, uh, that'll be it for today. So thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you especially, Drake here. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, like I said, hopefully we'll be able to do three streams in the next week. But we'll have to see when that comes. So for now, uh, thanks again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. And watch out for Enderman.